Hello everyone, this is Administrator Nanar, and I'm happy to be showing you a demo of RGE today. This tutorial is going to be very quick and a better one's going to be released at a different date. But for now, uh, this is going to give a very basic overview of everything you need to know to use RGE. First things first, go onto private servers. And even if you have the map already set to Ronograd, you're going to want to set it to another map. It can be anything. And then after this is updated, which can take a few seconds. Just wait for the... There we go. You can switch it back to Ronograd, and this just ensures that the latest version is running. Even if you think it's the latest version, it still needs to do config changes, so make sure you do that before you enter the game. All right, once you've loaded into the game, you're gonna to wanna to hit deploy, uh, and then you'll see in the bottom right that you can press P to open the cheats enable menu, basically. This is just saying, if you turn it on, you can't turn it off. So once you're ready, hit enable, it will save everyone's stats on the server and then after it's done you can press P uh, and you'll be in the editor which is very uh, can be very weird but basically uh, you can move these widgets around which are all of the panels that you're going to need to use RGE the first thing you want to do is head down to cameras and then you're going to want to use a studio camera uh, this one's the most versatile one uh, and you can just fly around with WASD and ENQ and you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out there's also a cinematic camera which is a lot more smooth uh, and even has options here to lock it and attach it to points it can be a static point or a moving object like a vehicle uh, and you can just click them again to undo it there's all these settings here which you can change uh, and that will just, well, it will change what it says it changes. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the cameras. There's also these tabs up here, which is where it saves the cameras. So you can go back to views that you've been in before without having to worry that you missed it. And you can actually open multiple cameras. So I can move one here, move one here, and then I can actually just go through to these cameras and go to their save location. So for now, I'm just gonna be working in this studio camera. So the question that, a lot of people uh, are going to want to know when they first get into RGE is how to place props and enemies. So you're going to head to the asset browser at the bottom here and you'll see bot and static. Now before we start spawning stuff in, I want to explain how this little number up here works. This is the world that you're editing into. Uh, if you have multiple editors, uh, people editing in different locations, I suggest everyone uses a different number, but the general rule of thumb is if you're building a compound here and then you have another one on another side of the map they should use different numbers and that way the AI will only talk to other AI in that world uh, a bit complicated but I'll show you so you can just go to outpost or any of these folders there's lots of props and you can click on one of the props here and then to place them down you can click once and it'll place it down like that or if you hold control, you can place the prop multiple times for as long as you're holding down control and you can hold down R2 to uh, rotate it. Uh, you can build whatever you want. And then once you place stuff down, you can actually just click on it in the world or you can click on it here uh, and you can delete, move. Uh, you can press R again. You can rotate multiple stuff on an object or just how it was. Uh, to give you a quick demonstration, if we build just a little sandbag thing here, um, this will all be under world one as it shows here. But if we switch this to two, you have to press enter. Uh, and then we start building over here. You'll see that it's got its own uh, little folder almost here. And that's very important because in the future that will dictate how you save and load. But for now, uh, it's just so the AI know who they should be talking to and how to coordinate attacks. So AI, next thing, go back to root here. You can just click uh, and then press bot. And then you have RLF or POD. If we go to POD, we can just click and place AI. And it's it's pretty simple. Uh, you can see that I, I set the world ID to two still. Forgot to change it back. It's not too much of a worry. If we go to bots, you'll see that now they're under the world group of two. So if one of these uh, AI gets startled, then it will contact these AI uh, for help. However, if the AI that gets startled is from a different world group, so this one's now in world one, as you can see, if he gets startled, he will not call for help from these AI because they're in a different world. Uh, 
that's the most basic uh, prop and enemy placement. You might also want to use G. So if you click on an AI or a group of AI for that matter, uh, you can control click to highlight multiple and then you can press G. They will all run towards that location and they'll roughly keep their formation. Sometimes they break it. Uh, it really depends what Roblox pathfinding is feeling. Uh, these AI will not take cover uh, and that's because we haven't been able to specialize them to each location. They're very generic multi-use AI uh, that will adapt to any scenario on the map the best they can. Improvements for this will come later but for now that's what you get. Uh, you can of course delete these as need be. Uh, another very helpful tip is if you have an AI somewhere on the map you can click them up here or any object and you can press F and that will just move your camera to where that guy is. Uh, very, very easy, very helpful. So the next thing we're going to look at is the console commands. This is what the entire editor is based around. So even when you're spawning props and moving props, it's actually just feeding commands into this console here. So theoretically, if we copy one of these commands here, we can then put it into the, into the bar here and it will actually place an enemy back where we, we had placed them before and then we can delete them. But the more human friendly commands that you might want are friendly fire, which you can then set to squad all or disable. Uh, you can actually just type some of the word and then press tab and it will complete, complete it for you. Uh, another good one to, uh, to pair with that is revive. Uh, so you can turn reviving on and off. If revive is disabled, then people will instantly die when they um, lose all the health. Uh, another good one is HUD Disable, which if we go to my view here and we type HUD Disable, you can see that it actually disables the, the HUD except for the chat for everyone, even though I'm not using F8. You can see with F8, there's nothing without it. I just only get chat. Uh, in the same uh, sort of field, you can use first person forced to force people in first person. Uh, other other commands are compounds disable, which will disable the compounds. Vehicle spawning, you can disable that on and off. You can also set squad, um, squad, uh, squad, squad changing disabled. So if squad changing is disabled, no one on your server can switch squads. But if we select the player in the players tab we can, as an admin, change their squad here. So I've just put myself on YOLO squad. As you can see, it will actually change in my menu here. Uh, you can also kick players from this menu here. Uh, do note that you cannot kick server owners or admins. Another very useful command for creating PVP worlds is using squad set spawn or uh, squad spawn. So if we go to your assets browser, go to a random, um, find a random prop, one that's about the size of a player. We'll just put the stop sign down. We can copy, scroll all the way down. You can see that we've spawned a squad and you can see these position coordinates here. If we highlight those, control C them, we can delete the prop now. And then we do squad spawn and then paste that number and then do, let's do red. Um, Oh, what have I done? Oh, sorry. Make sure you get rid of these these commas here. Should just be the numbers. And then do red. Uh, that will set the position of the red squad spawn. So if I go to my, my guy here and set him to the red team, I can then do respawn, uh, respawn all. And you'll notice that my character now spawns here when I die, which is very useful. You see, yep, works. And another, another, another useful one you'll want to use for PvP and stuff like that is server lock, which you can just do server lock enable, and that will stop anyone from being able to join your server. That is the most of the commands. Oh, another very important one is time. So you can do time stop, which stops time, or you can do time. Uh, yeah time start start it again or you can do time set and then a custom number and that will set it to any number that you put it in so that is the basics of rge i've skipped over a lot of stuff but a more in-depth tutorial will be released at a later date so for now 
this is what you need to know. A lot more features are coming. Uh, a lot more features will be changed probably, but this is what we're going to be releasing. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy when it's released.